Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for February 18th, 2020. Hope everyone had a wonderful weekend, got all rested up and you're ready to dig in and get ready to get back to work. So how about we settle in and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the morning market prep video. So this morning we're looking at a market that has a little bit more concern this today um, over the coronavirus and um, over the weekend um, virus numbers continue to grow death numbers continue to grow um, but what really kind of set the market back here a little bit is when Apple came out and said they're expecting a substantial first quarter impact um, with declining sales, um, inability to get product built, those kind of things. And that really put a damper on the market here. Now, really, it's, it's kind of interesting to me that it's just Apple um, causing this to happen um, because there's been a virtual chorus of companies coming out warning of potential impacts. Now we can see this morning Apple gapping slightly lower on that news, but we've had um, HSBC, uh, which gets its primary um, earnings revenue from China, um, and they're a London-based bank that's expecting um, substantial problems. We've had Moody's um, over the weekend now downgrade the growth um, opportunities in China um, because of the impact, and they suggest that um, Singapore, um, Taiwan, Hong Kong will have some of the the strongest impacts overall. Taiwan and Hong Kong have warned of potential recessions. Uh, Japan has warned of a potential recession as a result of the virus impacts. And that just continues to, to, to seem like it continues to spread out. Now, whether or not they get this under control or not, I don't know. And here's the other thing that we don't know. Right now, the bulls have been on this relentless march. There hasn't been anything that they, they want to ignore everything possible. They have a desire to reach up here and hit 30,000 in the Dow. They want that so bad they can hardly stand it. It's so close they can smell it and they want to drive that higher. So is it possible they can continue to ignore this and drive on higher? Absolutely. But I do think the impacts, uh, the economic impacts will come to bear here very, very soon. We're going to start to see um, in the near future, we're going to start, start to see numbers. Companies continue to warn that their numbers are going to be damaged by um, the virus impacts. So we'll want to watch that pretty carefully. And what that means is the bulls are going to fight hard to try and maintain this trend. They want the that headline so bad they just can't hardly stand it. At the same time, the bears are likely likely to become a lot more aggressive as these news events continue to roll out about um, economic impacts and, and future economic impacts and the uncertainty that those kind of things bring. We really don't know what those targets are going to be or where things are actually going to go, but we can probably expect the bears to be more aggressive. So what that means is we should be very very careful as traders and expect higher implied volatility in our options higher volatility in price action for stock traders and we should be um, watching really closely for potential news driven reports that will reverse uh, price action you know perhaps earnings or new data on virus information um, those kind of things and we should also plan for and expect pretty substantial morning gaps as we continue to struggle with this uncertainty in the market. But let's just plan that the bulls and bears are likely going to be locked in a, 
a, um, a, a pretty heavy uh, match of back and forth trying to grapple with what all of this means. Let's take a look at the technicals of the chart and let's realize that one of the most important things we can do as a trader is we have to just focus on the price action of the chart. The price will give us clues if we allow it to do so and don't blind ourselves with our own bias in the market. Let's take a look. Right now we're pushing down this morning with a gap down and that gap down is continuing to diminish as the morning goes on as those bulls really try to fight back. But right now we're looking at more than a 150 point gap down here in the Dow. But honestly, that doesn't really hurt anything yet. We've got a little price support in here. Unless we break this price support to the downside, really doesn't impact the chart all that much. Could be a little bit painful if you were buying up stuff heavily going into the weekend. But other than that, I think we should be okay. Now, if we happen to break that level right there, let's take a look. We've got another level of support just below, and that's going to be critical if we pull back into here that that holds, because if it doesn't, notice that we have these very big gaps below where we ran up in these big gapping moves trying to ignore uh, the virus. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely because if we start slipping into those gaps, there could be a um, painful day um, when that if that occurs. So let's watch those support levels very closely and see how those bulls hold up overall. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY still very, very strong and went into Friday extremely strong, as just, just as if we had nothing to worry about um, with the virus. And you can see that we're looking at a gap down this morning, it, not nearly as much as the Dow, but we are looking at a gap down this morning. We'll have to wait and see if those bulls can hold on to that enthusiasm or if the bears start to assert themselves here just a little bit. We do have a little bit of price support right through here on this chart and notice we're holding above that this morning. And again, if we happen to fail there, watch this level of support right in here. That'll be critical because remember below that we have those big gaps and we don't wanna be slipping into that area because that could really set off a tumble. Let's take a look at the Qs. Qs have been holding up very, very well. As a matter of fact, as the strongest index out there, continuing to push on higher even on Friday as if we're going to completely ignore any of the financial impacts that are coming to bear um, based on the virus. So looking in here you can see we're looking at a slight gap down this morning in the nasdaq and um, i wouldn't expect those bulls to give up easily here so keep in mind we have some support level here um, once again if that were to break we have a little bit of price support right in here that we'll want to keep an eye on and then the real critical point is if we break down below here we have that big open gap to pay attention to right now no fears of that but we'll want to watch this pretty closely as these bulls and bears really are going to probably start duking it out a little bit harder on virus impacts. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM this morning, I'm um, seeing a little bit of a gap down here. You can see pulling back just slightly. We have a little concern here, a bit of a dark cloud cover with a lower high possibly forming in the market, but Let's notice right there that we are still holding trends. So there's still no reason to be in panic mode here on IWM, but there is a little bit more concern than what we see on the other indexes. Let's take a look at the VIX. Whoops. The VIX pulled back on Friday. And once again, we're really trying to prove that we just have no concern over uh, virus impacts and trying to ignore any of those as those bulls just relentlessly push for those um, new record high prints. 
but we're, we're going to have to watch this pretty closely as evidence continues to grow that these impacts are real and could be substantial we might start seeing um, VIX start to respond to that. Now, I suspect with the gap down this morning, we are going to see the VIX um, respond higher. Now, keep in mind that we've got some resistance levels in this chart that we can bounce up into here and fall right back. And then, of course, the, the bigger resistance level right in here. And we're really not going to um, have too much of an impact, I think, unless we really um, break through that area up there and hold it as support. We'll want to watch that pretty closely, but right now fear doesn't seem to be too big. But if we start selling, just kind of keep that in mind. There's a lot of folks that have pushed a lot of money into the market here recently. And if we start slipping backwards, they could start bailing out pretty quickly and moving the market lower. So watch that carefully if that starts to spike up and that fear starts coming in to the market. Let's take a look at at T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And as you can see on that four week new high, new low ratio, we don't really have a whole lot of clues here other than the fact of where we are. Now remember, T2122 does not tell us um, what the market is going to do today. What it does tell us is, is it gives us information about where we reach an oversold condition or an overbought condition. And right now, T2122 means that showing us that we have some upside room here. We have pretty good opportunity actually for upside room here if the bulls continue to shake off these fears again and ignore um, these potential impacts. We could still go higher. Keep in mind that if those those bears really start um, engaging here, there is a pretty sizable opening to the downside as well. We'll want to watch that pretty closely if um, it starts to favor those bears. So watch that closely as we move forward. One thing we should be prepared for in the days ahead is that opportunity that we can have large gaps either up or down on a daily basis as this uncertainty continues to spin around here and these news events continue to push the market back and forth. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and see if there's anything on our economic calendar that could move us around. Um, today we have the Empire State Manufacturing Report at 8.30 this morning. That certainly has a potential of giving us a little movement in the market and the housing index at 10 o'clock. But they aren't what you would consider to be real market moving events or big market moving events particularly amid, uh, um, amidst a, a, a huge earnings um, cycle of earnings. So kind of keep that in mind, but we'll want to keep an eye on those numbers. Um, also notice we have a Fed speaker later today and Treasury budget after that. Now, the economic numbers really start to gain impact as we move through the week. So we'll want to keep a close eye on some of these impacts as we move through the week. But right now, um, nothing major. Oh, by the way, I should mention this. FOMC minutes will be out tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Obviously, markets can um, react to that if there's new data in there for them to respond to. Market seems to be very, very hopeful that the Fed is going to cut rates. But I got to tell you, uh, in my opinion anyway, and my opinion is probably wrong. But in my opinion, cutting rates when the market is racing at all time highs and seems to be kind of catching a little bit of a buying fever would seem to be pretty silly. Um, can't, I'm not saying that they won't do it, but um, when we're pushing out at new highs, um, I would be really surprised to see the FOMC uh, push for uh, more rate cuts certainly possible. We'll want to watch that. On the earnings front today, we have 
a significant number of earnings to deal with. We have about 140 companies or so reporting earnings today, and we'll want to pay attention to those. Um, Walmart now this morning didn't help things when Walmart reported a miss, but you can see it's not gapping very far uh, down here this morning. Walmart uh, missed on its earnings report, but so far market hasn't punished them too much here. It's one of the things we've seen here lately, even when a company doesn't perform all that well the bulls are just trying to buy everything that they can buy and they push stocks right back up so we'll have to watch and see if walmart um, actually provides some of that negative pressure to the market or not we have companies like aap reporting looks like aap reporting bullishly this morning advance auto but certainly in a downtrend not looking too healthy there acc company reporting today um, looks like there's no report here um, at least at that point, at this point, um, AWK is another one reporting. No report here at this point. BLMN, we've got the Bloomin Brands reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Devon Energy will be reporting today. Keep an eye on Devon. Um, and quite a few others as we just go throughout the day. Um, we'll want to pay attention to these companies as they report. So lots of earnings reports um, rolling out this morning. And that's the bull bear battle that's going on right now as those bulls try to hold on and those bears um, um, really are starting to try to re-engage here in the market. So keep an eye on those earnings report. We have a big week of earnings this week um, to uh, balance with all of this, the corona fears. We've got over 180 companies reporting tomorrow, more than 220 um, on Thursday. So still a lot of earnings to chew through here this week. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up. You know, the purpose of these videos are just to help with everyone kind of focus in on the details to avoid the emotion and the drama of the market open and really focus in on the details on how you want to approach the market for the day. And if you find that helpful, if you could also do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and then leave a brief comment. Helps us continue to grow the channel and reach out and help more people. And I want to say thank you to everyone who takes the time to do that. You guys are awesome. Let's take a look at some stock setting up and keep in mind that every time I post one of these stocks that these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security, you need to be doing your evaluation and determining whether or not this stock fits you and fits your trading plan. I don't know you, I don't know your trading, so the, remember these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Take a look at Monster. Monster has been looking very very good here holding up beautifully in this tr this trend and Friday even pushed higher so monster beverage looking very very good here as a potential buy relatively low risk entry with a stop loss right underneath these price support area here and looking very very strong here overall in this trend take a look at Etsy Etsy has been moving up and one of the things that I'm interested in here in Etsy is that we've got this nice little bottom formation in here we broke the downtrend we broke through this level of resistance in the chart and now and then on Friday tried to pop through let's watch this in here we could see this consolidate over to trend let's watch that close but Etsy looking very good for that next opportunity higher and staying very very strong here in the market as you guys know I've mentioned home several times and I'm going to continue to mention home as it continues to hold up in this trend breaking through this resistance we're struggling right around in here but I want you to notice this big open gap above now home could still pull back and retest this trend in here don't be too surprised if that occurs but we'll want to watch for that next opportunity to maybe fill this gap to the upside as home comes through um, let's take a look look at um, 
How about Allstate? Allstate looking very, very strong on Friday. Nice little consolidating move, moving over toward the trend, trying to pop through. Once again, don't be too surprised if a little resting pullback has to occur in here. A little bit more consolidation over the trend, but Allstate looking good overall. KBH remains very strong. KBH holding up in this trend, popping on through. We'll want to watch this. It may continue to to rest over toward the trend here a little bit or even pull back into that trend before it really takes off but keep an eye on KBH holding up very well looking very nice overall take a look at Shake Shack Shake Shack continues to set up popping through breaking through resistance holding a consolidation in here nicely moving over to trend with a gap above to fill keep an eye on Shake Shack nice little potential setup here in that chart OSTK keeps well, it keeps just dancing around here just a little bit. You can see OSTK made a run um, at that resistance on Friday and ended up pulling back by the end of the day. Don't be too surprised if this continues to hold in here for a little bit. And notice we have this little trend right in here. It may need a little bit more time to deal with that price resistance before it pops through, but OSTK might be one to keep an eye on. So there's a few stocks for you to just pay attention to things that are setting up patterns that I watch. Hopefully you find something in this video that's very useful to you. I want to say thank you to everyone who takes the time to leave those comments. You guys are awesome. Please make sure and subscribe if you haven't. Everyone have an awesome, awesome day. We'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. I wish you great success in your trading today. Take care.